Hello and welcome to your 8th Algebra 2 and Algebra and Trigonometry class. I am Mr. Marcus and today or this week we are still continuing with our Algebra review for our Algebra and Trig class and continuing with the material for our Algebra 2 class. Next week we will be separating those contents into Trigonometry for the Trig class and continue with our Algebra 2 videos. Today's topic is actually it's an Algebra 2 topic, although it is seen a lot in Algebra 1 as well. And it is writing equations in slope-intercept form. Okay? Now, slope-intercept form is this. is y equals mx plus b. And um, basically, y is what we're looking or solving for. m is our slope, and b is our y-intercept. So what we're going to see in these three examples is um, when or how to write an equation to make it look like that, how we identify our slopes and how we identify our y-intercepts. In our next classes, we're going to graph these functions, and then we're going to start working with um, uh, matrices in the case of Algebra 2, and we're going to start working with um, trigonometric functions in the case of Algebra and Trigonometry, but for the time being. Now I have 3 plus y equals negative 2x. All I want to do for now is just simply write them in slope-intercept form, identify who is my slope and who is my y-intercept. Simple as that, okay? So here we want to make this equation look like this. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to solve for y. And we already saw a previous video how to solve for y. Now all we got to do in this case, if this is 3 is positive, just subtract 3. This is going to cancel out y equals negative 2x minus 3. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is it. Now, my slope is 2, and my y-intercept is negative 3. And that's it. That's a real simple one, a real easy one. Here we have another one where it's not as simple as this. And it's saying <clears throat> that the slope is 4, and that it passes through the point or with negative 1, 2, which is on the line. And I want to write it in slope-intercept form. Well, how do I do that? Well, I have an ordered pair. I don't have a y-intercept, and I do have a slope. So our slope is 4, so we're just going to substitute into this equation to find our y-intercept, and then we're going to be able to write our equation in slope-intercept form. So basically, we're going to say, instead of saying y equals mx plus b, we're going to say 2 equals... 4, we use our slope, um, x and negative 1, which is x plus b. So 4 times negative 1 is obviously negative 4, so this would be negative 4 plus b, and 2 equals negative 4 plus b. Now, if we want to solve for b, we're going to get rid of the negative 4 by adding 4. So we're going to say plus 4. This is going to cancel out. And 2 plus 4 is 6, so we say that... 6 equals b, so our y-intercept is 6. All I need to do is just write the rest of the formula. y equals, I know that our slope is 4, x, and our y-intercept is 6, so plus 6. And that's it. Very easy, very simple, nothing out of the ordinary. Our last one is really easy as well. And here, you don't really have an ordered pair, or you don't have an equation. All you have is the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Now, Something very important. Whenever you have an x-intercept, that means that y equals 0. And whenever you have a y-intercept, x equals 0. So, technically you have an ordered pair here. Our ordered pair is 1 half and 0 because y equals 0. And here we have 0 and 2. Now, what we're going to do now is calculate our slope using the formula m equals y sub 2 minus 1 sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, or x sub 1, I'm sorry, that does not look like x. It's not sort of looks like x. So, we're just going to say, well, m equals, this is x sub 1, this is y sub 1, this is x sub 2, this is y sub 2. So, y sub 2, which is 2 minus y sub 1, which is 0, y sub 2, minus y sub 1, so 2 minus 0, x sub 2, which is 0, 
minus x sub 1, which is 1 half. And that's, well, let me write that a little better. Sorry for that. 0 minus 1 half. And 2 minus 0 is 2. And 0 minus 1 half is negative 1 half. And I have to divide that in order to find my slope. So all I'm going to do is whenever I'm dividing a fraction, you invert the, the fraction. Uh, in other words, if it's 2 over 1, negative 1 half, I'm going to flip that negative 1 half over and turn it into a multiplication problem. So this would be 2 times 2 over 1, negative, right? And then we just say that equals negative 4. Okay, because 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and 1 times 1 is 1, and negative divided by 1 is negative 4. So I have my slope. Let me actually go ahead and erase this part so I can have more space here. I have my slope, which is negative 4. So m equals negative 4. But I need to write it in slope-intercept form. So I can actually just say, well, my slope formula is y equals mx plus b. And all I have to do is really um, substitute everything and identify because my slope is 4, or negative 4. And they're already giving me my y-intercept. In fact, they're saying I have an x-intercept and a y-intercept. And my y-intercept is 2. So I just simply write y equals 4x plus 2. Obviously, my slope is 4. My y-intercept is 2. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, for this um, for this uh, video lesson for today. Um, beneath the description of this video, I'm going to actually go ahead and also write the um, exercises that you're going to be working your math sharpener from. All right, so stay safe, and I'll see you guys soon tomorrow in the virtual classroom, and Friday's your test. So bye.